Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. Um, there are a few things that I need to do right now. Um, first things first, I mean um, <laughs> the most pressing thing is our next goal is to unlock uh, nuclear power. Not because we particularly need nuclear power, but because um, we need all the other bits that come along with it. Um, and in order to do that I need supercomputers which, if we have a quick look at the recipe over here, is... Excuse me a second. So if we have a look at supercomputers, they need computers, AI limiters, plastic, and high-speed connectors. Now, we've already got computers coming through here, so that's okay. So we'll need to supply AI limiters and plastic. So that's two more slots on our train. High-speed connectors, Ah, uh, here we are. <clears throat> they need quick wire, cable, and circuit boards. So we need to supply circuit boards, cable, and quick wire. That's three more things. Now, the problem there is that we don't have enough space on our train. I mean, they're not here right now, I'd demonstrate. But we've only got one slot free on that train and two slots free on this train. So we need to do some... Um, some jiggery pokery just with the transportation of things. Um, unfortunately, I was going to show you a little problem I had with this, but it all got backed up and stopped producing things. So I had to spend a little bit of time sorting that out. It also meant that the silica had backed up. So not a huge uh, deal, not a big problem, but it does mean that it. Um, that if we look down here, we see, oh look, we've got plenty of silica. What's the problem? Um, the problem is that that came from over there over the course of a couple of hours while this thing was shut down and I didn't notice. <laughs> ah, anyway, um, all of this is up and running again. At least it should be. There we are. <laughs> so basically, we've got uh, plenty of computers, at least for now. See, there they are. They're all backed up on that, on that conveyor belt. But there's no quartz um, crystal oscillators. And that is a big problem. It's actually a much bigger problem than we think. Um, I'll just go back over there and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are. This is our computers uh, manufactory. Um, as you can see, we don't have screws. We just don't have enough screws. Look at this, this rate. Look at the rate the screws are coming in. Got plenty of plastic. Plenty of uh, wire a cable, plenty of circuit boards. There's loads of them. We've got loads. We're just not getting enough screws, and that is a perpetual problem with screws. Um, it's just used by so many different things that you need so many of them. The reinforced iron plates, and then the, those reinforced iron plates are used by tons of other stuff as well. So we really need to increase our screw production. Over here at the quartz um, the crystal oscillators. Uh, obviously, we've got all of these reinforced iron plates. Hello, screws. We've got more cable, but our our quartz is pretty slow in coming in. I mean, it's perfectly fine for supplying these ones, but there's not an awful lot coming out of here. And because of the the balancer, the manifold, it's not really enough. It's really not enough, so we need to deal with that as well. So because we take silica over there, and we need a bit more room in the train, if we can source uh, quartz locally, that'll be a great help, because that'll free up a slot on the train. So that's going to be another job that we need to do, is source uh, some local quartz, and get some manufacturing going over there as well. But we also need cable in addition to the quart, um, the copper ingots. Now, we've got quite a lot of copper ingots over there already. We're transporting those already. Um, so we could just use the copper ingots. But if we can get copper ingots made over there and have a whole production line for the cable, that will also free up another slot on the train. So we freed up two slots on the train by sourcing things locally. So that means that we've essentially freed up that entire train 
and we've got an extra slot on the back of this one ready. So that's five slots we've got there. So we can take the, the quick wire, we can take the circuit board, we're already taking computers and then we've got AI limiters and plastic as well. So that is more than enough and it gives us a spare slot as well. So that's our logistics handled as long as we can find copper and quartz over there. And I already have. <laughs> um, away goes my train. Uh, let's see, I've got a big to-do list written down here. <laughs> The main thing for today is expanding our screw production and what I've done is I've used this to create some blueprints because there are some very convenient iron mines over here. That node there is pure, there's one over there that's pure as well. And what I've done is I've rigged this up. <laughs> this is a completely separate power supply from the ones to the, um, the coal miners over there for the power for the coal generators and this feeds directly into the output of the big screw factory over there so what we can do is use these blueprints that I've created to <clears throat> create a ton more screws and I'm not on zoop again <laughs> I always expect I always expect to be on zoop so I'll just fill in these foundations So we've got these ones over here. And I've got those two over there that need doing. It's relatively uh, relatively easy. Now, these blueprints take these little standalone factories. Um, these blueprints take how many was it now? 120 iron ore. Let's get it right in the right spot. There we go takes 120 iron ore and produces 480 screws. That's all it does. I could very well have plonked this on top of that, but I, it's fine, it's fine. So let's get our miners. Pop one there, we'll need a splitter. That's the wrong category. <laughs> Should know this by now. This list has just grown and grown with all these uh, with all these things we've been building. I'm locking right there. We go. What we need to do now is get uh, Mark II conveyor lift coming down there, like that or like that. I'll do it like that. It's easier. Right, so like that. Come down, scrolly scroll. That'd be fine. It's just that this is a bit too high, and I need to upgrade to a Mark II belt there. There we are. And then that's that's two hundred and yeah, Mark III will work for that. <laughs> so if we have a quick check on there, that's two hundred and forty per minute. Awesome. Awesome. So if we scroll back up here, I really wish those splitters were here. But it's not a problem with that. No, it's 270. Yeah, that, that's fine. It's just a really weird number, isn't it? Anyway, we'll hook up the power from these to that, to that, over here. And then we're just the right distance away hook that on there. That should be powered. Yes, it is. There we go. What we'll do now is we'll get the output. So it's a Mark IV. And we'll run it up to the top floor here. Because that's a bit too low, I think. Is it? No, I think that's fine there. Do the same over here. Now, unfortunately, because of the way they're made, it's going to take a long time for them to achieve maximum output. <laughs> it really will. Mark 4. Pop that 
there. Over to the edge. Because when I have to bridge a gap like this, I prefer to have a single section bridging the gap. I don't really know why. Uh, what I need now is a merger. Let's pop the merger here. And there we are. And bring this over here. Come on, up there, that's it. And then hook that onto there. Now that, of course, is a different belt because I've I've made that a fast conveyor belt Mark III because it will need to hold the stuff from there as well. So as you can see, it's taken a little time to get going. So it comes in here, goes through a, a fairly normal manifold into these, where it then produces tons of iron. I think those are producing at a decent enough rate. No, no, that these far ones are stopping. It's fine. It won't take too long before it gets saturated. But that needs to saturate before the next step can saturate. It's kind of a strange layout, actually, because I've got three there, and then I've got the rest of them over that side, all producing rods. Which come along here. There's a, a little sort of kink here so it lines up with my conveyor lift which goes up to the next floor which has a ton of these uh, constructors all producing my screws so the thing is these conveyor belts here on the output they're going to be saturated when it's at full capacity it's not right now but that is not looking too bad not looking too bad at all. In fact, I probably should uh, upgrade that. But, hey, that's fine for now. But, yeah, we've got a ton more screws coming. we just got to do that over there now. Okay, so here we are. The miner is on the node. We've got our conveyor belt set up. They're all feeding the factory. We're not producing an awful lot right now because it's only just gone in. But, uh, yeah, you can see them coming out, being fed along here. All the way over here where they join our <laughs> the feed from our other factories. And I've upgraded this belt now, so that's going to be the right capacity. So all of this is going to be producing, what is it, 860 screws per minute. Which doesn't sound like a huge amount, but it's more than we're making... Um, we're making more in that, but it's it's an addition to everything. So we'll just follow this conveyor belt all the way in. So along here. Past all of these. <laughs> and takes a turn. That goes along here. All the way along here. This is going to be pretty much full once the uh, factories are saturated. I, I just missed the end of the thing. So it comes around here into this, which was already here, because all of these screws go so many different places. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, these are all extra screws. So that's going to increase production across the board and help to at least temporarily alleviate some of our supply issues. So if we come over here, These are all our... Over here, of course, is our... Um, is our inputs now. You see we've got lots of screws going in there. Far more than we had before. Uh, screws also come down here. Head all the way over here to our heavy modular frame. Factory. So we, we need them all over the place. These screws. We need these screws pretty much everywhere. So we definitely need to increase the production of them. And that's going to be it for today. Because there's been a hell of a lot going on. That there doesn't look particularly attractive, but it does the job. <laughs> oh, dear me, it took me a very long time to create those blueprints. Sheesh. 
Uh, just trying to fit it all into the, the space available is um, part of the challenge for blueprints. It really is. But anyway, that's that's producing quite a few screws that we really need. Next episode, um, I think we're going to be looking for local supplies of quartz and copper and getting all that on the go. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, remember to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.